<clears throat> okay, let's start with uh, solving systems of linear equations with determinants. All right, we're going to talk about square matrices. A square matrix is a 2 by 2 or a 3 by 3 or a 4 by 4 or any matrix that has the same number of rows and columns. And each one of those square matrices has a real number associated with it, something we can calculate and say this is equal to 6 or this is equal to 10 or this is equal to minus 12. And that is called the determinant. And notice the spelling of it. It's not determinate. It's determinant. There's a little n in there. Okay. For a 2 by 2, let's, let's consider a 2 by 2 matrix. And we're going to put our... Um, code in here, our letters, a sub 1, b sub 1 is the first row, and a sub 2, b sub 2 is the second row, and those represent real numbers. In order to calculate the value of this, first of all, we're going to change that matrix, and remember the matrix has these little guys in it. We're actually going to cut them off and make just straight up and down lines like a, a, a goal. <clears throat> and it's going to be, and then we put the same numbers in it. And now we can actually calculate this. What we do is we start with row 1, column 1, and we multiply that uh, term by its diagonal term. So A1 times B2, whatever that value is, and then we're going to subtract from that A2 times B1. So we're just doing a little crisscross here. And that's the value. Okay? We can say the value of the second order determinant is a sub 1, b sub 2, minus a sub 2, b sub 1. So let's take a look at an example. If I have the determinant 5, 6, 7, 8, I'm going to multiply 5 times 8, which is 40, and then I'm going to subtract 6 times 7, which is 42, giving me negative 2. Let's try another. 2, 4, negative 3, negative 5. If I multiply the 2 times the negative 5, I get negative 10. And the negative 3 times 4, I get negative 12. And negative 10, negative negative 12 is negative 10 plus 12, and that gives me 2. So go ahead and give your first uh, checkpoint a try. Now this uh, determinants are very useful in solving systems of equations, and we're going to work on two variables right now. And that would be these two linear equations, and if you remember how you used to solve them simultaneously by eliminating one of the variables. So let's say we want to solve for x by eliminating y. Well, I have a b sub 1 y and a b sub 2 y, so what I have to do is make those hero zeros, in other words, one is negative and one is positive, so that when I add them together I get zero. And in order to do that, I can multiply the first equation by b sub 2 and the second equation by negative b sub 1 and that's going to eliminate my y. So I'll have a sub 1 b sub 2 x plus b sub 1 b sub 2 y equals b sub 2 c sub 1. Just multiplied through by my uh, b sub 2 there. And the second one is going to be minus a sub 2 b sub 1 x minus b sub 1 b sub 2 y equals negative b sub 1 c sub 2. Boy, there's a lot of subs in there. But you can see that the y's cancel out because we have a plus b sub 1, b sub 2, minus b sub 1, b sub 2. So when I add these two together now, I'll have, and what I'm going to do is add them together and factor out the x, I will have a sub 1, b sub 2, minus a sub 2, b sub 1, x. And you should recognize that as being the value of, of that original determinant equals b sub 2, c sub 1, minus b sub 1, c sub 2. So now if I want to solve for x, I divide both sides. And if I take a look at this, I can see that this is going to be the same thing as the determinant, that the numerator would be the determinant c sub 1, b sub 2, uh, c sub 2, b sub 2. c sub 1, b sub 1, c sub 2, b sub 2. Getting all confused here. Okay, because if you multiply here and then subtract multiplying here, you come up with your numerator. And in the same way, the denominator is equal to a sub 1, b sub 1, a sub 1, b sub 2. So now you have a way of, without eliminating one of the variables, just picking out the coefficients, putting them into a determinant, 
and do the calculations. And it really isn't so hard to figure out. Let's try this. First of all, this is called Kramer's Rule. Kramer is somebody who obviously had a, way too much time on his hands, I suppose. <clears throat> okay, so Kramer's Rule. If we have these two equations, and I'm going to write the... Um, the answers to each one of them, the C sub 1, C sub 2 in purple so that you can kind of see the difference. We're going to call this uh, the determinant that we get just from taking the coefficients of the two equations. We're going to call that just determinant D. And that's A sub 1, B sub 1, A sub 2, B sub 2. Okay? Now, we know that X is going to be equal to this. I'm not going to read them all off to you so just so you can see it, but you can kind of see how the bottom and the top are the same, except in the top we've replaced the first column, which would be what is associated with x, with the answers over here. And I went too far, so let me move this back. Hopefully I haven't messed the whole thing up. Okay, and now y is going to be on the top, we're going to replace the y column with c sub 1, c sub 2, and keep the other column intact. And of course, if you notice, the denominators of both of them are just our main determinant. So what we're going to name this is the determinant for x is going to be formed by replacing the x column with c sub 1, c sub 2, and keeping the other column the same. And the same way, the determinant that's associated with y is going to be replace the y column with the c sub 1, c sub 2, and keep the other one intact. So now we have three determinants that we can spot pretty quickly. And when we want, let's, let's go ahead and solve one of these, okay? So here's our equation. Our main determinant is going to be this, 5 minus 4, 6 minus 5. And so now x is going to be the x determinant over the main determinant, which will be, and, and y will be the, the, uh, the value of y will be the y determinant over the main determinant. Okay, well the main determinant for both of these is 5, negative 4, 6, negative 5. But if, now for uh, what's going to go in the numerator for x is going to be replace the x column with the answers up here. So I'm going to put 2 and 1 in the x column and then I'm going to put my negative 4, negative 5 in the y column. And for y, we're going to do the same thing, except now we're going, to, we're going to replace the y column with the 2, 1, and the other column with 5, 6. Now you can do the calculations, and I'm just going to kind of run through these real quick. So we'll have negative 10, negative, and negative 4 over 25 minus, um, uh, minus 24, which gives us minus 6 over minus 1. And the y is going to be 5 minus 12 over minus 1 again, because that didn't change, which is minus 7 over 1. So the coordinates for the point where these two um, equations intersect each other is 6, 7. Okay, so go ahead and do checkpoint number 2. Try to digest all of this, and we'll see you in class.